Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explorer 2022 in San Francisco. Today, we have the pleasure of having Phil Trikovic, who is the Senior Vice President at Tintree. Welcome. Hi. Maybe you can start for people that don't know Tintree, uh, give us kind of a company overview and what you guys do. Okay. Uh, Tintree has been on the enterprise market since uh, 2012, though so we're in our 10th year. Uh, we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Data Direct Networks. Uh, we're known for fundamentally changing the way that uh, VM data is stored and managed. And Phil, if you could maybe uh, talk a little bit about how Tintree partners with VMware. What what does that look like? Okay. Uh, as far as partnership, and you know, I don't know. You may or may not know. We are we were architected primarily for VMware uh, back starting, I think, in two thousand eight, two thousand nine ish, by our founders uh, who came from VMware. So very close partnership. We do lots of joint integration work on APIs, sharing methodologies, uh, joint support, cooperative support agreements are in place. So we have a very tight relationship with VMware from day one. And talking more about your relationship with VMware. Um, what specifically does your company offer someone who is a VMware shop or has a VMware implementation and what kind of problems do you solve for them? Okay, a bit of a, a longer uh, lesson there. Uh, as VMware came to market, which was what, 03, 04-ish, uh, already you had the big storage block storage providers that were in play. So VMware was capitalizing upon that and, and acting upon and installing upon basically what's legacy architecture. So what we did is developed a methodology and a backend storage technology that does not require LUNs or a bunch of storage management, shuffling around RAID groups, et cetera. So first, we primarily offer greatly uh, simplified management of these platforms that have become quite complex uh, over the past 20 years. Uh, we offer QoS. We are the only one that has automated QoS, which is based on uh, statistics and gathering uh, me uh, data metrics that we gather from within the end user's environment, not what we think or what somebody else may think it should be. We actually gather those statistics and over time we adjust resources to properly serve those VMs. Now, if you could, could you maybe give a, a, a you know, a rundown of some of your company's technology offerings, giving a little bit deeper dive into that and talk about what makes uh, Tentry's products unique or differentiated in the market. Okay. Um, what really differentiates Tintree and what really gets me excited about it are those deeper offerings that aren't as widely understood. Um, you know, I've been with the organization for eight years. I think it's one of the most under-realized uh, technologies that are on the market currently. Um, within that comes part of the talk about the deep QoS and why do we do that. Um, you know, Within some of these large enterprises, which is our primary customer segment, we're 60% we're of the Fortune 1000. They have thousands, if not tens of thousands of VMs, very complicated management uh, structures of those that have often performance problems that are very difficult to diagnose. So one of the most incredible things to me about Tintree is that's eliminated 100%. Because of our intelligence and the awareness that we have built into the platform, those tasks and those issues are eliminated. Um, on top of that, we have a very, very deep uh, uh, SaaS-based analytics offering that is historics on enterprises, applications, VMs, et cetera, all object-based uh, that can give you very detailed uh, analytics on what's currently happening, as well as give a very, very robust predictive uh, needs requirement for future applications, rollouts, data centers, what have you. Um, if you are using our analytics platform, you can go in and model based on users, uh, number of VMs, how much capacity is required, et cetera, et cetera, and it will spit out exactly what you need, compute, network, and storage-wise for those environments. Again, based on your data, the customer's data, not what myself or analyst or this or that or the other person says. You run it for a few months, we'll tell you exactly what you need, where your issues are, and how to avoid issues in the future. So historically, uh, VMworld has been a place where people come to uh, announce their new products, and now it's VMware Explore. Um, do you have any new announcements around the show that you're going to be uh, yeah. talking about? Yes, yes. We have a very uh, exciting suite coming out that is going to be announced, uh, I believe, today uh, uh, at the start of VM World, VM Explorer, sorry. Um, and what we have done is basically taken this inherent intelligence that, uh, in a weird way, it's a little serendipitously 
for what we're seeing that's evolving in the marketplace around app delivery via microservices. So because we manage the object level, we're already architected to serve that. And the suite that we're announcing is primarily serving that market as well as some very, very robust and interesting intelligent ransomware features and also data protection and recovery features. So yeah, there's uh, 10 subsets of products that are being announced, but all will be bundled up under what's called Tintry Next. Now, part of the, uh, you know, VMware Explore event as well, VMware is going to be on the keynote stage talking about big picture items. Uh, what big themes, trends heading into 2023 is Tintry most interested in? There's, there's three areas that we're really focused on that I believe are also a primarily a primary interest to VMware as well. One is just developing microservices uh, and app, application delivery via uh, segment that's emerging. It's it's going to, it's not quite there yet, but we do think in the next 18 months, you're going to see some real, real changes in the way that applications are deployed and resources are used. Because in, in conjunction with VMware, Tentry, and what we're releasing, uh, you'll be able to get down basically, and it's almost a full circle of what's happened from uh, years ago down to the, the MIPS type billing or fungible services, not just fungible hardware, but where do you need to run it, data locality, the mobility of it, and then the cost takeout within that. So those are the main areas that we see coming in the next 18 to 24 months, but that's also what we're seeing broadly across the market starting to take much, much uh, bro broader adoption. And lastly, uh, is there a way that we could get a quick demo of the product to see what it looks like? Yes, uh, we've got Brock Mowry, who is our CTO uh, online right now, and I will hand it over to Brock. Hi, my name is Brock Mowry. I am the CTO of Tintry, a division of DDN. Um, looking forward to showing you guys a new platform that we uh, are announcing at VMworld, our VM Explorer. Uh, this is going to be in conjunction to our hardware platforms and is really going to start expanding our hybrid cloud uh, architectures. So what we're seeing here is a uh, instance of our Tintry Global Center. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive in and look at some of the VM stores that are associated with it. And the one that's uh, blurred down here, it is showing operationally degraded, but this is a single controller instance in a cloud environment. So this is actually running in uh, EC2. And really what this is doing is this is decoupling us from the hardware, uh, breaking out of the racks of the data center and being able to enable some more hybrid cloud architectures. So in this example, uh, we're going to dive in here a little bit, and we're going to look at a VM store that is actively using our native replication technology uh, to replicate snapshots from an on-prem physical unit into uh, an AWS instance. And you can see here uh, under this instance, uh, we do need to blur the information out because it is sensitive, but uh, this is a VM store that is running within the cloud environment. And uh, we'll go ahead and dig in here a little bit deeper and actually show that uh, there is operations happening within the system. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see we've got a significant amount of replications coming inside, uh, as well as there's storage applied to the system. And if we go into manage objects, we're gonna see that there are actual virtual machine snapshots present within this virtual VM store. Uh, so. This is really starting to uh, launch a path of a bunch of different uh, capabilities within the platform as a whole, uh, giving us that hybrid cloud architecture. And as you can see here within service groups, this is how we are uh, uh, setting up the replication policies. Uh, and if we dig in here, we'll actually see the settings themselves. And you can see within the replications that we are replicating out to the test VM store in AWS uh, doing uh, snapshots on a, on a uh, scheduled basis. Again, this is showing the individual snapshots uh, and the status. So you can see some are actively running as well as up to date. And uh, as you can tell, we've had uh, quite a significant amount of snapshots replicated out to the system. So to jump over to the uh, EC2 instance, uh, we can see here, just do a quick screen refresh. Uh, we can see here the individual uh, VM store this is a 16 terabyte unit. Uh, it is running as a T2 large uh, within an AWS instance. We'll go ahead and drive in here. Uh, you can see the, the virtual IP or the external IP of that machine. We'll go ahead and click into that here in a second. Uh, but I wanna go down here and show you some of the uh, configuration details. Uh, so we are consuming uh, block data underneath the uh, instance. Uh, you can see we've got multiple disks attached uh, in order for us to create our file system within the VM store itself. And again, this is enabling a, uh, a, a 
TXOS end-to-end -end experience versus using a, a separate product in order to get data or replication into the cloud. You can see some replication statistics and performance detail around the virtual machine. And if we actually click on this and pull this up, this will take us to the UI of the system that's running. And you can see directly on the system uh, additional details around capacity, uh, the managed objects that are there, or the snapshots uh, that we're replicating into the environment. Thanks for that great demo. Um, where can people go if they're at the show or after the show that want to find more information about Tintree and some of the things you talked about today? Okay, thanks, Brian. We will have a, a, a large presence at booth 1604 uh, FDM Explorer. We will be there uh, starting Monday night. Look forward to seeing everybody. Okay. Well, thanks for talking with uh, VM Blog, and we look forward to seeing you at the show. All right, thank you.